I, Raxel, daughter of the priestesses of the Temple of the Serpents, offer my humble thanks and those of Quito and the men of the Christian God. You are a minister of John Paul Desmond's God. Will you let the devil possess him? My job has always been to fight the devil. But only man can save himself with proper guidance. Then we must convince my master of the need to free himself from the demon. <laughs> Tell no one of this place. Does Jean Paul not know about it? This is the one place that he and Jacques Hermand Demon must never find. No one must find it. I will not betray you or your beliefs. It's not that he turns me on or anything like that. Well, he's the kind of person you want to talk to. Yeah, sure. Thanks you for doing. Like, he's what he is, and he lets you be what you are. Oh, that's rare, man. Look, stop squirming, huh? I'm sorry. Just hold it that way. Hey, room. what's bugging you? You're just yapping too much, that's all. Well, you could take a few lessons in courtesy from Mr. Desmond. He's not only kind, he's mature. Holly, do me a favor, will what? you? What? Just can it. Not only my master is in danger. There are others here who need help. Dr. Carr, the little one. Holly? Yes. It is all spelled out in the cards. Of course. The tarot cards. Vanjie Abbott's beacon that forecast my arrival here. Cards never lie. There you go again. You're a complete waste of time. Look, I said I was sorry, didn't I? Okay. So maybe I'm not the greatest model in the world. I've never done this before, you know. Well, neither have I in painting a sit-in for a dead woman. Okay, who... then. Get yourself another model. All right, hey, hey. Hold it. I'm not annoyed with you. Huh. Well, you're sure taking it out on me. Well, it's just that... Remember what this all started out to be? Sun and fun. And payment of a debt. Yeah. Well, that's taken care of. But not this. It's lousy. Tim, it can't be that bad. By a degree of comparison, but it's not that good. Well, let me see. I'll take my word for it. Tim Stanton, you're too much. That was a groovy sketch you did of Erica at the French Leave Cafe. She sat in for it, not you. Oh, there you go again. All right, all right. You know what I mean. Yeah, I know you're too much of a perfectionist. Tim, don't get hung up in that bag. Look, Mr. Desmond will love the portrait. If he doesn't... Then what? If he doesn't, just give the Reverend to get you a road map to the Home for Wayward Artists. He's a specialist at putting away unwanted people. He's a specialist at giving help, which isn't always understood. What's this you were saying about wayward artists? Your portrait struck a snag. Oh, come off it, Tim. It's beautiful, really. Seems to have joined Jean-Paul Desmond's league. Mm -hmm. He, too, wants it to come alive. Want me to judge? Sorry to be cliche, Reverend, but this one's my cross to bear. In that case... Now look, Tim, you're going to paint until the light holds. Get that? Because I want to make sure this body gets justice done by it at least. Danger? or death. What's that? 
Raxel dropped two cards. Hey, these look like the cards Vanji Abbott uses for fortune telling. The tarot pack? I brought them to Raxel from Vanji. Who's the man? According to Vanji, King of Scepters, the traditional card of ill omen. And the other? Queen of Cups. Who's she? I... I don't know. Hey, Vanji and her ESP. Let's see if I can find out the answer. Oh, come on, let's knock it off, eh? Come on, Tim, we're on a break, aren't we? And holding hands with sweet talk, you will find that everything good will come to you. To use the present-day vernacular, keep the mood in the groove. Well, it sounds great, but you don't expect us to believe any of that, do you? I don't expect you to do anything. Nevertheless, what I have told you is what will be. I don't know how you knew some of those things. But you just make up fortunes, don't you? You can believe that if you wish, but time will convince you otherwise. As I said, what I have told you is what will be. It's all here in these cards. It's given to very few to be able to read them. The gift of believing them is given to all, providing they choose to accept it. But nevertheless, the cards do not lie. Well, let's just get on with it, huh? Well, what's all the fuss about anyway? So, Braxel dropped a couple of cards by accident? I'm wondering if it was by accident. What do you mean? Banji says the cards are symbols that are made to represent the individual. Then the fortune can be told. What individual do these represent, if any? You mean maybe Raxel dropped them on purpose? Oh, speak of the devil. Raxel, you dropped these? Raxel, what do they mean to you? Is it my fortune? Tell me. No. Oh, come on, Raxel. Tell me, please, just for kicks. No. 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 Sometimes I don't think she likes me very much. Or anyone at all. Hey, Tim, I'll be back in a minute. Well, at most, ten minutes more of decent light, and she has to split. I gather you don't buy it, then. Buy what? That Raxel was trying to tell us something, warn us. With a couple of tarot cards. If she had something to say, she'd go out and say it, wouldn't she? Maybe not, Tim. Well, she doesn't strike me as the shy type. She could be frightened. She's not alone. Then, you sense something about this house, this island? Something evil and perhaps dangerous? Want an honest answer? What else? Well... I sure don't dig the cryonics bit, you know, freezing a body and storing it for the future. And other than that, uh, I'm scared stiff. But if there's one person here who can take care of herself, it's Raxel. powers will have to use all their strength to fight the evil we face, Keto. Reverend Dawson must realize that his help is needed also. When the devil is afoot, we are all in danger. shall conquer the mist, the cooling wind draw heat, bright light disperse the Sirocco, quickening fire burn out the darkness, and clear water 
blow away the vapors. Conjure woman, you are needed in this place. Prince of darkness casts his shadow before him, and you are called forth. Come! bearer of light, answer me, come forth, come forth! Well, that does it. You've stalled just long enough for all the light to be gone. Class dismissed. Now can I see? So it stinks. Your sketch was better, but this one has a certain quality. Well, that's a terrific way of putting it. Oh, it'll come, Tim. I know it will. Yep. When Jean-Paul Desmond gets his wife back to life so she can sit for me. How can you joke about a thing like that? About a man who's doing such a beautiful thing for his wife. Beautiful? What's so beautiful about it? His love for her, that's what. And that's what's so weird. But maybe... Maybe those tarot cards can help. I leave my destiny. And all those on Meljada. In the gracious arms of the priestesses the temple of the serpents. Come, Peter. That's all. Mr. Desmond? No. The Reverend Matt Dawson. Oh. I thought maybe your saint had turned to plaster. Jean Paul's not my saint. But have you ever met anyone quite like him? I can't say that I have. I don't think anybody has. Is that sarcasm? Mm hmm. And fact. Tim. Don't you see what he's trying to do for his wife? Except I don't think love has everything to do with it. Yeah, monsieur. Looking for you. I must know about those cards you dropped. Tell me, who do they represent? I do not read the cards alone. But I guess the king represents Jean-Paul Desmond. But the queen, who? Polly, is she in danger? All are in danger. You didn't drop those cards by accident. You wanted to tell me something. What? All I know is that the little one is in danger. The cards never lie. Please, that's all I know. Then you must learn more and tell me. Just because you're hung up about your work, don't take it out in Jean-Paul and me. Look, I said I was grateful, didn't I? You think he's flipped, don't you? I don't know what to think, except that I made a bad deal. So, call it off. Well, I can't do that. The money's gone, I've got to deliver. Tim, let's split. You and me? Oh, no, that's not my style. Well, what is your style? Hanging around, being uptight all the time? Reaching for impossible things? Maybe. 
How about you? I could find my lucky star. If only people would leave me alone. Me? Your mother? The Reverend Matt Dawson especially. Clairvoyance. Are your ears burning, Reverend? Why? Your name just passed from my lips and there you are. Or did I call? I didn't call, did I? You may one day, Holly. Hmm. Not while you live. My chief concern is to see that you do in happiness. I'll never need you for that. Never. If you change your mind, just yell for help. I'll hear, Holly. She's uh, going through this identity thing. The running eventually knocks the wind out of people, doesn't it, Reverend? It's my decision and my life, okay? Well, good luck. And good luck to you. She's uh, really a groovy kid. Holly. Believe me, I'm worried about you. I don't want to hear about it. Wait. Wait! Whether you want to or not, you're going to. Well, I'm listening. No, you're not. You get behind that wall of hostility where no one can reach you. Holly, I'm afraid for you. Afraid your life may be in danger. Me? Yes. In danger of what? If we can talk, really talk, without hostility, without you deciding that I'm wrong before I open my mouth. Go ahead. I'm your friend, Holly. You must believe that. I'll try. Well, what am I in danger of? The Christian God can truly guide his men. Help him, little princess. To help those who are doomed to suffer on Belshazzar. The cards speak of evil for The Queen of Cups? Maxwell didn't say that was me, did she? She didn't have to say it, Holly. All of a sudden, you're a fortune teller? I know that everything is terribly wrong on this island. We're all prisoners in this house, don't you understand? Sean Paul wouldn't do that. He says we can leave. But he refuses to say when. There's a sickness on this island, Holly, and Jean Paul is part of it. It's a threat to all of us. And I'm afraid, especially to you. You're saying I'm in danger from Jean Paul Desmond? Oh, Padre, you're way off. I hope. Well, he's the most wonderful man I know. I trust him as I do my father. If he's worthy of that trust. Why do you say that? Because he's sick, is that why? It's not a medical sickness, Holly. It's nothing that you can isolate and treat like measles or appendicitis. What I'm talking about is a spiritual sickness. A dark cloud of evil. Oh, Reverend, you know something. You're too much. Look, if Jean-Paul says anything to you, anything strange or unusual, I want you to tell me about it. I'll tell you something. I'm going to ask Mr. Desmond to ship all of you all off the island, except maybe Tim and me. That's how much of a danger I think he is. Help the bearer of light to hear me. Little princess, help the prince of darkness to stand aside and give way to the regent of the realm of light so that the mild zephyr can conquer the mist and the cooling wind draw heat. Bright light dispersed the Sirocco, 
quickening fire burn out the darkness, and clear waters blow away the vapor. Come, princess of light. Come, conjure woman. You are needed on Meljada. You are needed on Meljada. Say good night to our little mistress. Then we will go together to stand before the altar of the great serpent and beg him, beg him to deliver us, princess of light, who will destroy this devil. Release our poor master. Peter, the temple. 